Hello everyone, this is Ajith here from Interview Network. Welcome to the channel one more time. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the most important and most interesting topic on Nexus VPC, Nexus Virtual Port Channel. So guys, uh, we all know that this is most uh, demanding topic and most interesting topic also because if you are already a L2 engineer or, or, a, or a health engineer or above that, then you know that in an interview there must be a one or two or a couple of questions must be going to ask on this topic. Now on, on the basis of your knowledge and on the basis of the level on which you are applying for the interview, the questions changed, correct? But guys, uh, we already have a lot of uh, tutorial on the internet and also on the in the books where you have the basic questions which they normally ask, for example, like uh, if I talk about how VPC work or if I talk about what happen if keep you know keep alive channel goes down, what happen if peer link goes down, right? So th those scenarios we already know the question answers to those questions but if what if in case uh, if an interviewer you know understanding at your level for which you have applied if the questions uh, which they ask to the advanced level do you know how much advanced questions can go for the vpc and also apart from learning the, the, your those questions what about your concept have you do you know do you really understand the concept of vpc so in this video i'm not going to only help you to um, understand how VPC works, what is VPC, but actually in advanced level, how VPC functions and what are the, those advanced questions which is normally asked uh, in an interview, even on L3 level or L4 level or, or L2 level. So if you have understanding on those questions uh, and at, at the end of this video, there's not a single question that's going to ask you in the market on VPC that is, I'm not going to cover today. So guys, I'm sure you're going to love this, this video and going to enjoy this content. Do watch this video till then so that you can learn and uh, you know maximize your knowledge and do follow me on my uh, instagram or for, uh, facebook i'm already available there on the on all the digital platform you can connect me there and we can discuss further on that and the questions which i'm going to cover here to be on very advanced if i talk about do you really know like how we communicate between two inter-domain vpc do we know what is one-sided vpc and double-sided vpc do we really know what is g bit how it works Right. So these are the questions which goes in the advanced level, but you can only answer if you have the basic understanding. What is the difference? If you already have the ether channel, why we need the port channel? If we have the VPC, is it L2 VPC or L3 VPC? What's the difference between them? Right. So those are the other questions from which we are going to start and then how we will further move to the advanced level. That's what we are going to cover today. So guys, do watch this video till the end and do share with your friends so that we can together help each other to reach and explore this world of network industry. Thank you guys.